How do you gain velocity in a supply chain shortage? Hi, this is Ron Carr, your Velocity Mindset Expert. Supply chains throughout the entire world are greatly disrupted because of the pandemic. Companies cannot get their goods and products in line, in time, for what they need, and therefore they cannot deliver to their customers who are placing orders. That is a big problem. Yet there is a way to gain velocity with your customers even when you can't deliver. And that lies with the aspect of managing expectations. Customers know there's a shortage. What they really want to know is do you have their back and if what you're telling them you can back up. Because whatever you promise them, they then make their own decisions on what they can expect and make their plans going forward. And when you disappoint them because you overpromise and can't deliver, that's when they really get upset. And that's when you lose velocity because it's going to take you a heck of a lot of time to now calm the customer down and deal with the issues that you created. So managing expectations, what does that look like? I went into Whole Foods today and simply asked the clerk, do you have frying pans? And before he showed me where they were, he said, you know, we really have a limited supply, but they're at the end of the aisle. By managing my expectations of a limited supply, it allowed me to make the decision whether or not I wanted to go down the aisle. And if I didn't find what I wanted, I did not blame him. Now what salespeople do is they tend to say, yes, no problem, we can deliver, when in fact they know that there's a good shot that they cannot deliver. That is not managing expectations. You're better off in being honest with your clients as to when they can expect things, because as I said, the most important thing is not whether or not you're late, but it is whether or not they can trust you. That's today's Velocity Mindset message. Please be good to yourself and others, and I'll see you in a couple of days.